Hello everyone. We will continue the topic enhancements and modifications. And in the previous video, we studied what is a user exit. What are the various ways to find a user exit? Now, in this video, we will learn how to implement a user exit means what we will do we will take a requirement from the customer we will take a real time requirement from the customer and we will achieve that requirement by implementing a dedicated user exit means we will write the logic into a dedicated user exit now, firstly, we will discuss the requirement. Now, what is the requirement from the customer? What customer is saying while creating a sales order or while changing a sales order? Suppose customer team is creating a sales order through VA01. Customer team is changing a sales order through VA02. VA while creating or changing a sales order, the delivery quantity of a material cannot be less than 100. But customer is saying whenever they will create or change a sales order, whatever the delivery quantity they are putting for a material, it cannot be less than 100. Means system should not allow us to create a sales order if we are putting the delivery quantity of a material less than 100. So what I will do, I will go for system and show you what customer want. So I will go to VA01 suppose. What is VA01? It is a dedicated transaction code to create a sales order. Suppose I am passing some order type. I am passing a order type OR, which is for standard order. I am passing some sold to party, suppose. Now, I will go for material. Suppose I am passing M01 material. Suppose for this particular material, the order quantity is 100. I will confirm the quantity. Suppose we are going for material M02 and suppose the order quantity is 80. I will confirm the quantity. So we are creating a sales order which has two materials. For the first material, the order quantity is 100. For the second material, the order quantity is 80. Just compare it to real world. Okay, suppose you are ordering something. You are suppose ordering 10 shampoo. The quantity is 10 for that particular material. Suppose you are ordering 20 soap. The same thing is here. So we are creating a sales order which has two line items. For the first material, the quantity is 100. For the second material, the quantity is 80. Suppose I am clicking on to save button. So SAP will create a sales order which has these two line items. I will go for save. Now, SAP created this sales order 22133. If I will display this sales order, you can see this sales order has two line items. See, as of now, for material 2, we are able to put a order quantity 80. SAP is not stopping us. SAP is saying, yes, you can go for any order quantity 1, 2, 10, 20. But it is a dedicated requirement from the customer. But customer is saying, yes, whenever we will create a sales order, we are not allowed to create a sales order if order quantity is less than 100. Just see, it is a SAP standard transaction code, VA01. We have a SAP standard program. In the standard program, we want our own logic. We want our own logic. 
and this is our topic what enhancement and modification is we will enhance the sap functionality in sap namespace or customer namespace if it is customer namespace that is enhancement if it is sap namespace that is modification and we all know user exit is a modification so it means we will achieve this requirement by writing a logic by writing our own logic in the sap namespace itself suppose this is all about va01 suppose now while creating a sales order we put this restriction suppose we will write the logic that order quantity cannot be less than 100 the same requirement customer want in va02 also because it should not be the case suppose customer is changing a sales order through va02 so what customer is saying while changing a sales order also it should not be the case ki i can change and put the quantity less than 100 so we have to restrict at both the places means while creating the order quantity cannot be less than 100 and while changing also it cannot be less than 100 suppose we put a restriction while creating while creating they cannot go for order quantity less than 100 so what they can do they can go for va02 and change the order quantity so we need to restrict while creating also and while changing also so now we will see how we can achieve this particular requirement so what we will do we will find a particular user exit and we will write the logic into that particular user exit so what we will do i will go to va01 for this particular requirement we will see which user exit will fulfill our requirement so i will go to va01 system status i will double click on to the program and we will go for the way the documentation which sap provided and i will go for one of the most important program mv45 af set set In this MV45 AFZZ, we have so many user exits available. Now, what is this user exit? User exit delete document. This user exit is used whenever you want to delete the data in the additional table. This is not our requirement. This is user exit field modification. We are not going for modifying anything. We are not moving anything to VBAK table, VBAP table, VBEP table, VBKD table. We are not going for any number range. So whenever I will scroll down, we have a user exit save document, but we are not going for save before save. Whenever user will click on to the save button, before save itself, we want a particular message for the user. We want a restriction for the user that quantity cannot be less than 100. So this user exit is calling at the save, but we want before save. So if I will scroll down, we have a dedicated user exit. If you will see user exit, save document prepare. If I will scroll down, we have a user exit save document prepare and this user exit call before a document is saved. So before saving a document itself, we want to check that order quantity cannot be less than 100. So we will simply, simply implement this user exit. We will simply, simply write the logic into this user exit now many time people ask you did this through va01 
we have to do the same to same thing in VA02, VA02 also. Just see if I will go to VA02. Same thing we should restrict in VA02 also. If I will go to VA02. System. Status. And just see for VA01 and VA02. We have same to same program is there. If you can see. We have same to same include is there MV45 AFZ. Now, if I will go to the last, you will find same to same user exit, same to same user exit, user exit, save document prepare. So if we will implement this user exit, this user exit will help for VA01 also. This user exit will help for VA02 also. So we will write the logic in this particular user exit. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took one requirement. And what is the requirement? While creating or changing a sales order, the delivery quantity cannot be less than 100. So in SAP standard transaction codes, in SAP standard programs, we want our own logic. So based upon that, we check the documentation of the program and we found a dedicated user exit, which is calling before save, before saving the document. So we will write the logic into this particular user exit in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.